Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah where I'm joined with my partner in crime, the main man, Nav. Assalamu alaikum bro. Wa alaikum salam bro. How are you doing bro? Alhamdulillah. I know that we're called Smile to Jannah and you know it's always nice positive light-hearted stuff but this video that you showed me bro, I don't know what to tell you man. I don't even know how to get into this video. I don't know how you're going to transition into this video. Smile to Jannah. Let me tell you three things. Yeah, I can't show them because when I show it, then it becomes the video becomes restricted and all that sort of stuff. So today what's happened Go on. which is all over the Indian news is two women, they were caught speaking to their cousins over the phone. Yeah, okay. the family found out they took them outside, started beating them with sticks, kicking them, dragging and swinging them around by their hair, throwing stones at them, literally like, like a rag doll. It would be difficult for you to believe that that's a human being. If I showed that, you wouldn't be able to sleep. Yeah, and these are done by extremist Hindus. There was another one where I think it's happened today. This is like of uh, loads and loads of cases. 62 year old man was stripped, beaten up by men shouting anti-Muslim slurs in no Noida. And this is about a couple of weeks after we heard uh, the elderly uh, uncle that was beaten up and then they shaved his beard off as well. Now this is becoming all too common. But these two that we've mentioned are of uh, Muslim old men. Yeah, but the one I mentioned today was of Hindus. And there was another one, well, extremist Hindus or Hindutva or however you want to, whatever label you want to use. And there was another thing, this was on the news. But if this was done by Muslims, yep. this would be everywhere. This was where a, a father caught his daughter yep. speaking to a man that he didn't approve of. Yep. And then he cut her head off. What? Oh, that's right. He cut it. No, but that's that's not the shocking thing. After he did that, yeah. he took the dismembered head yeah. and he uh, toured around with it and went to the police station. So he was seen on a dual carriageway, walking on the side with the dismembered head in his hand. Bro, that sounds like a horror movie, subhanAllah. It does, doesn't it? It's if fine. that was a Muslim, there would be every everyone, even the tribes in the Amazon rainforest. Yeah. Yeah. Even they would know. Even yeah. the penguins in the Antarctica, yeah. Ant Antarctica, even they would know. Yeah, even the ants in the darkest and deepest of, of holes yeah. would be aware of the story. Yes! Yeah, and then there'll be a number of Muslims that will probably come out and not in my name hashtags. And you know, the, the first thing that comes to mind, Zishan, is that I know that, and I think everybody with the, any clear thought pattern or anybody with a pair of eyes and has a television at home can see you know the injustices taking place against the Muslims in India as a whole but um, one thing that was, qu was quite shocking but at the same time it hasn't surprised me in, in, in the grand scheme of things is that you know oppressors generally like cruelty is in their nature they like it's over the it's always a stronger individual or party oppressing or taking advantage or you know throwing their weight yeah. around on someone smaller basically yeah and what happens is is that once you run out of you know the enemy or the the person that you perceive to be the bad guy you painted out to be the bad guy where you've justified your oppression yeah once that runs out then you just end up turning on your own people because you don't wow. have that natural fitra you don't have that morality you don't have wow. that hamdardi or that uh, what's the word empathy empathy in English, yeah, it's not an Urdu channel, isn't it? Say what? And once that runs out, subhanAllah, like, then anything is fair game, really, isn't it? And that's what we've seen today with the choice of the four stories. Yeah, two that of Muslims, but two, they've t they're turning on their own kids. This, look, when we say extremist Hindu, yeah, yep. it, you, you're seeing this happening. Yeah. Yeah, you're seeing it happening to the Muslims. Yep, Hindu, the extremist Hindus may be okay with that, and the population that's becoming more extreme may be okay with that. It's Modi's India after all, but it will start spilling over. And in a in a cup, when you're adding too much of something, if you keep going, eventually it's going to spill over. It's going to start going on the table, on the floor, and someone's going to come slip, and yep. then ta. Hatred breeds more hatred, isn't it, brother? And if you're mm. always, if nine, 90 percent of your days spent on hating somebody else, and somebody in your family might make a human error, a small mistake, then you're not going to be able to mm. contain your frustration, wow. and you lash out in the same way that you do against other people that think that you know are against you or whatnot, just because they might follow. Because that's religion. that's how your brain has now become wired. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and that's how you're used to dealing with the things. 
uh, and dealing with uh, any other opportunities that are similar, isn't it? Yeah, Bazish, one another point that I really wanted to mention is that um, we're just speaking about this and I'm glad that you actually brought this subject up is that it's very important as Muslims as a whole to address oppression even if we're not you know, on the receiving end or if we're not the victims. Mm. And the reason being is that I've seen this a lot in like in previous jobs when I was working like amongst with non-Muslims etc is that sometimes you could be in an office setting and you feel strongly about a, a particular cause let's just say the Uyghur Muslims for example or use the Palestinians as an example and may Allah make it easy for our brothers and sisters uh, uh, that are undergoing oppression all around the world I mean, I mean, I mean. but what I mean to say is that if an issue is is close to your heart and the only thing that you're ever doing is addressing issues that you know are Muslim related naturally when your colleagues are not, you know, changing their Facebook picture or profile picture to, uh, you know, the Palestinian flag or the, or the Uyghur flag or anything like that. You're getting offended, but all they're seeing from you is you only ever speak when it's your your own people or your mm. own religion. Right. And even though we're not like that as Muslims, we know that you know you're supposed to care about anybody that's oppressed. Basically, the Prophet ﷺ, uh, you know, rahmatullah, I mean, he sent to the to the entire world, and you know. He, 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 he was just with non-Muslims as well And that's exactly yeah. how we need to be And if we see oppression If we see any form of suffering Whether they're Muslim, Hindu, Sikh Whatever they may be We still need to speak out against it Because once we stop talking about these kind of things People get desensitized And you know yeah. what happened to the Muslims It happens to everybody else Yeah. And it's, it, it's happened to many communities Within the Muslims as well When it happened to one particular sect of Islam What they did was that oh, They're only attacking them folk here yeah? Let's not talk about it Yes Yes, and then forget about it. And then when that party they get attacked, you know, for There's the world no to one see, left to no one, them, no right? one's going to support them because yeah. they didn't stick up for them. Yeah. So not just helping out and speaking up for your fellow Muslims, but as Muslims in general, we need to speak up against all forms of oppression. Yeah, and I really do like you know what you what you've described. What's happened to the, the, these women? It's unjust. No religion, no 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 democracy, no no system out there will allow something like this, especially mm. not Islam. And I'm sure that even within, if you search their own texts, like you know, I don't know what the the vaidas are. I'm sure there's probably going to be something that you know speaks against oppressing women and stuff like that. Most definitely, but bro, it just seems that they've reserved all of that for Islam. Why? Yeah. Because it fulfills their political agenda. But you have to be just. If you've got outrage, yeah. don't just have selective outrage just for the Muslims. Of course, because then the people that are you know genuinely being oppressed, then these people. Yeah. What's going to happen to them? I pray that Allah allows us to, you know, feel the the pain of others. I mean, and allows us to speak against injustice, whether it's against Muslims or non-Muslims. I mean, let's leave it there, bro. Beautiful ending, and uh, I think uh, definitely pay attention to what's going on in India, even though influencers or people may not be talking about it. it that is definitely very worrying, seen as they are the second most populated country on the planet. Bro, always a pleasure. Thank you, bro. Take care. That's right. Is that the ending? That, yeah. Are your hand sweaty. Or is that my hand? That's yours. That's okay. yours. Until next time. Salamu <laughs> alaikum.